going on with you guys? I'm looking forward to doing this reading. I hope you guys are having a lovely end of the year. I'm coming to you from Sinaloa, Mexico. If you aren't following my adventure channel, ladies and gentlemen, I'm traversing 20 plus countries from North to South America by motorcycle. The link is in the description. I'm sure you Sagittarian adventurous souls are gonna love it. So go check it out. I just posted my first Mexican edition video. What's going on with you and your love life? <clears throat> Sag. What's going on? Let's get straight into it. All right. Oof. All right. You've been recluse for some time. You're going through something challenging. Okay. You feel oppressed. You feel weighed down by what's going on, to say the least. You've been quite stagnant in this, in this energy for. For a uh, notable time, to, to say the least, all right? And, and you're now being called to do something about it, in other words, is what I'm seeing here, Sagittarius. All right? <clears throat> Fuck, you've been just dwelling in some sort of defeat, okay? So something quite catastrophic, something disastrous ensued in your love life that led you to recluse. This energy has been existing for some time, and you've just been dwelling in this, in this fucking energy, guys. All right? What's interesting to note is that in the past, there's been an attempt to to reconcile or to enhance, or maybe, <clears throat> I'm not gonna look too far into the past. There's no need to, all right? About the present and dealing with this matter here and now. I'm just trying to get an understanding of your situation. That's why I'm reading the way I am. Nevertheless, guys, I see that there has been an opportunity for love in the past that was seemed to be like passed on, right? It wasn't, it wasn't given a lot of attention. Maybe because you weren't ready to give it, or maybe because the person you were dealing with wasn't ready to give it. But now, it seems as if that attention is being relished on your end. So guys, if you weren't getting attention that you would have liked in the past, that's turning around is what I'm seeing. Beautiful, beautiful. It's making you feel more grounded, more stable. All right. <clears throat> so in regards to this challenge position, in regard to you moving on from the stagnant energy that I denoted earlier, this is what is being conquered this week. It's, it's actually, you know, something that's just being emphasized. You're already moving towards the conquest of this turbulent energy, this burden energy that I noted in the, in the beginning of the reading. <clears throat> you're already moving towards the conquest of that. All right, now the person that you're dealing with. You're appearing as the Eight of Cups, and this is going to be interesting to see. Look, I really don't get the sense that this person is too highly involved in your life. You guys are connected, to say the least, all right? You guys aren't, <clears throat> although there may be separation, there is an absolute detachment, all right? It's not like you, they're out of your life. No, they're not out of your life. You guys are still linked. You guys are still connected. And, and the connection in which is holding you together is not the best, is not the best, all right? You're wanting this past individual to turn around and come your way. You're wanting the situation to come back around is what I'm saying, all right? <clears throat> That's what I'm seeing here in your desires, guys. However... I'm not seeing that take place. What I am seeing take place is data collection. What is data collection? It's spying, ladies and gentlemen. It's just you being curious. This could be your person being curious, but I get, the, I get more of a sense that it is you. I feel that through this turbulent situation that you have attained a level of groundedness, all right, you're, you're no longer in this depressive sort of energy, although there is this residual defeat that you underwent, right? It's like sort of the wounded warrior, you kind of like, okay, you, you accepted what took place. It doesn't mean that you're happy with it. doesn't mean that you're content with it. But that doesn't mean that you're too bent out of shape about it either. What I am seeing is that you are still curious about this person and you're still desirous about this individual. And let me tell you, so long that that just remains a desire, you're going to be oppressed. You're going to be weighed down by this. Why? Because you're attached to something that you do not have. And that equals misery, ladies and gentlemen. That equals misery, all right? Being attached to something that you do not have <clears throat> is most certainly going to bring about some friction in your life. Now, what is this five of swords? The sense of some sort of disastrous event that took place here that is still embedded in your subconscious. So this is not, this isn't something you've gotten over. Whatever ensued, ladies and gentlemen, is something you have not relinquished yet. There's something you're holding on to, all right? <clears throat> Let's make that clear. Now, 
what I am seeing clearly is that you're wanting to navigate the situation. It's as if you are inclined to making some sort of approach towards this person. All right? There's some sort of decisive decision in the midst of your own mind regarding communication. Coming forward and communicating is what I'm seeing here. All right? You're going back and forth with ideas on how to come about, how to come forward and express this. So you seem to be desirous of wanting to give attention to this individual, wanting to give attention to this situation. All right? Why is a hangman? Why is a hangman in the challenge position? The hangman. All right. So basically what I'm seeing here, again, I'm going to reiterate what I've been emphasizing, ladies and gentlemen. It's... I see this desire within you to come together, to wanting to expand, to grow, to nurture a situation. But yet, that doesn't even make sense. But yet, those are cinnamons. They're cinnamons, ladies and gentlemen. You know, like the bun. Not a cinnamon. Not a cinnamon. <laughs> Guys, give me a break. I can't even pronounce words. All right. <clears throat> you should see me talk Spanish. Anyways, so what, what, um, what I'm saying here essentially is that I see you desires of wanting to come together to nurture a situation, right? Three of coins, empress energy. However, there's a huge obstruction, okay? And this obstruction is self-imposed with the eight of, with the eight of swords. You see, the eight is, is associated with Mercury in the Kabbalistic tree of life. And Mercury is associated with your conscious thought. Now, your subconscious, but your conscious thought. So what this is simply denoting is that you are being your own obstacle. You are being your own worst enemy in regards to you attaining what it is that you want. Okay? And that's, that happens very often, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of times we, we're our own worst enemy. How many, how many times are people just, you know, never get to experience what it is that they want due to insecurities? For instance, someone's at a bar. They spot, they spot a girl. Right? A guy spots, spots a girl, beautiful girl, and just he's enamored by her. And he wants to go talk to her. But he never does because he's scared of being rejected. Boom. There you go. Perfect example. Self-imposed limitation is what I'm seeing here. <clears throat> now, what is the advice, ladies and gentlemen? Because all I see is more, is I see that being materialized. I see you spying. I see you curious. In fact, you may have come to watch this reading to get some information on this person, to get an understanding of this individual, to get an understanding of what's, maybe so some clarity, some clarity possibly on how, what action to, you know, would be appropriate to take. Now, let's see, let's ask that. Let's get you on, the, on track in regards to what it is that you want because you want that past to return. And maybe that individual is walking away because that's what it seems. This individual seems to be moving on from you, ladies and gentlemen. And in just a moment, we're going to take this to the extended and we're going to bore into this individual. But as of now, this is your reading. This is focused on your energy. Now, it's clear that you're wanting to reconnect with this person. You're wanting to grow this situation or sort of nurture it and expand it. What is it that you can align yourself with? What action can you take, Sagittarius, to attain what it is that you wish for? Come on. Interesting, interesting. All right, this is it. It's pretty clear. You're wanting to come together with this individual. That, that is an opportunity that exists, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, coming together and, and growing the relationship isn't anything that is out of your grasp. It's within your reality. Okay, it's, it's a realistic idea that you have. It's a realistic desire that you have. So what you're being advised to do is to get yourself right, ladies and gentlemen. Nine of Cups. This is a card of self-contentment. So this is telling me that you're a bit bent out of shape. All right. In regards to this, you may have other aspects of your life down. Okay, look at, look at the queen of coins. This is the energy that you're projecting. This is a card of stability. But look at how she's turned the opposite way of her body. So although she's grounded and facing her kingdom forward, her face is turned another direction. And that direction is this individual that is walking away. Okay, so like I mentioned, you may have, your, your life may be good. 
It may appear good. But when it comes to your love life, you need to work on yourself. You need to find that peace and that self-contentment, that emotional self-contentment within yourself, guys. All right? Do that. Do not give up hope on this situation. All right? No need to give up hope. It's just a matter of getting yourself right and pursuing it, taking action. Taking action, ladies and gentlemen. That is what I'm seeing here. All right? Chariot star card is actually pursuing what you're desirous of. Pursuing what it is that you wish for. Pursuing what it is that you're hopeful and wishful for. All right? But before you pursue that, you need to get yourself right, ladies and gentlemen, because I do see you in a state of respite. It's like you've taken a break from the situation. You start, you stop giving your energy into it, your physical energy into it, because your mental energy, I still see you there. I still see you experiencing that residual defeat, and you're in an uncomfortable state when it comes to this relationship, guys. That's pretty clear. So it's a matter of you getting yourself straight and then taking action towards that. That is what I'm seeing here. So give yourself time. Give yourself time. Get back to this energy of being grounded in your own fury, all right? In that King of Wands energy that you are. Get yourself there, ladies and gentlemen, and then go after what it is that you want. Come forth. Break through with communication, all right? This week, I want to emphasize that it's about you. It's about getting yourself straight. Go do some self-care, guys. Put the situation away. Focus on the good things that you got going on for you. You know, revitalize yourself through self-appreciation, through self-care. Get your vibe high and then come forward towards this individual. They'll be there. They'll be there. Although it seems as if they're walking away, they'll be there. All right? Now, I'm going to take this to the extended and I'm going to bore into their energy. What energy surrounds their thoughts, their feelings, their intentions towards you, Sagittarius? If this was you... This was your reading. I will see you in the extended. Otherwise, guys, go follow that adventure channel that I linked in the description. I will see you guys soon.